Hey everyone, welcome back and welcome if you are new. For those of you who are new, I'm Lisa. I am a full-time working mom. I work about 35 hours a week as an occupational therapy assistant. I have a five-year-old son, Odin, and I am married to my husband, Taylor. We just got married this past October. Um, sorry for those of you who do follow me that I have not gotten a video out in about a month. We recently had a death in the family, so we just have been dealing with that. But I plan to try to get a video out weekly again. Um, that's my goal with working full time. It's really difficult to get videos out, especially since when I get home from work, I'm just exhausted and I do not feel like filming or cleaning. But today's video, we are tackling my upstairs bathroom, which is Odin's bathroom. You'll see that there's a ton of toothpaste in the sink and it was just a disaster. Honestly, my whole house is a disaster and I'm just trying to get it back to normal. Um, and we will be tackling his bedroom. I kept the video short just because it's easier for me to film a little bit and then edit it the next day just to stay on top of things. So um, sorry if you don't like short videos, but this one is a bit shorter, but um, I like to keep them short just so I can get videos out more on a regular basis. And also in this video, I will be talking about my struggles as a full-time working mom. I put a poll out on my community um, my community tab on my page and a lot of people did respond back that they would like for me to speak about my struggles as a full-time working mom. So I will get into that very shortly. Take my hand and we will conquer the You don't even know my name But that's okay, I can't blame you You've got better things to worry about Like kissing strangers when you go out So working as a full-time mom is pretty difficult. I think it is. I mean, it's difficult being a stay-at-home mom or a working mom. But I do work outside my home. I'm not able to work from home. So typically in the morning, Monday through Friday, we leave about, I try to get out the door by 7 a.m. the latest. I like to get out the door by 6.50 in the morning to get Odin to school for 7.30 in the morning. Odin is not able to ride the bus, so I physically do have to bring him to school and pick him up. Um, so he does before and after care. And then we typically get home between 5, 5.30. Unless Odin has an activity, then we're not getting home until closer to 6.30, 7 o'clock. So... Um, for my job, I'm an occupational therapy assistant. So what occupational therapy does is you work with individuals to help them gain their independence back in all self-care tasks and leisure. So that would be helping someone um, become independent in dressing, toileting, um, finding a leisure task that they may be able to do again or find new things. Um, new leisure tasks or something fun that they will enjoy doing because they are unable to do what they did in the past. Um, so I work with brain injury patients, so it can be pretty exhausting coming home. So um, I only have Odin, I only have one child, so I do not know how people who work full time are able to keep their house clean because I struggle. 
and when my house is a mess it just gives me anxiety and it just when I see the mess I just don't even feel like cleaning it so I just sit my butt on the couch and then it gets worse and then I will end up doing it like Friday night um, just because I know the next day I don't have to go to work but I will talk a little bit more about this in a minute Maybe I could be your So I typically work from like 8.30 to 4 in the afternoon. Um, sometimes I am at work till 5 o'clock. If that's the case, then Taylor picks up Odin from school for me. Um, there are days that I do get home from work and it's not 6 o'clock. My job is almost an hour from my house, so it is a long commute, um, which does not help. So my biggest struggle as a full-time working mom is keeping my house clean. I have tried to tidy up every night. It just does not work out for me for whatever reason. I am trying to get into better habits and routines. And I also like to work out at home. I do go to the gym on Saturdays, but I would like to work out three times a week at home, but that just has not been happening. Just because by the time I get home, it's say it's five o'clock, 5.30, I still need to cook dinner. I mean, that's not done until 6.30 and then I'll be working out. I would like to work out at seven o'clock but I'm just exhausted by that time, so it, I just get in my head and I decide that I'm not gonna do it, so I don't do it. Um, also, another struggle of mine is I definitely have mom guilt, and I will talk more about that in just a few minutes. Stuck in my mind and I want more no, got a thing, got a thing going on Walked up and kissed me on the spot So as a mom, I feel like we all have some form of mom guilt, whether you work inside the home or you are a full-time working mom, part-time working mom. Everyone has mom guilt in some way or some form. So mine is Odin's at school from 7.30 in the morning and most days till five o'clock at night. That is a long day, especially for a five-year-old. So I feel like he's already working a seven to five job at the age of five. So with that being said, there are changes that I am making so that he does not have to be at school that long. He doesn't like to be in the after school program that much. So I'm trying to make changes with my job um, so that I can be home more and have a more flexible schedule. And I will talk about that in just a moment. And every floor I see the good, but my mind's a bit cold. You're way too perfect to be true. As you can see, I am super backed up on laundry, so that's another thing. Our laundry is super backed up because the load a day does not work out for me. Um, I typically do it just one day on the weekend, but I still don't get it all done. So with my job change, I have decided to go per diem, meaning that I can work when I want or pick up shifts when needed. So I just got hired at another facility where they I'll be working definitely two days a week and then I am going per diem at my job now. Um, 
so that I can hopefully work three days a week. That's my goal. And then I can be home the other two days um, during the week. Or if this will, per, um, going per diem will also, if like Odin doesn't have school or school vacations week, I can stay home. I don't have to pick up shifts if I don't want to. So it just gives me the flexibility that I need for my family. And I am super excited to be starting this. This doesn't start until... Um, the first week of March or going into the second week of March but I think it's going to be such a great change for our family I'll still be working and I can still work a full-time schedule if I want to but then I have the choice of not be having to work a full-time schedule either so I'm just super excited about this I think um, I've been thinking about this for a long time now and I'm just so excited that I'm finally doing it so hopefully this will bring good changes to my family and good habits and routines So we will be wrapping up this video. I am just going to vacuum Odin's bedroom. And thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel and like it. It just helps the YouTube algorithm. It's free to subscribe. And I will see you all next week. Bye. I came to the party. I left at the joke she made. I wish that I had Cause now the joke's on me.